Hello, my name is Beth Dixon, and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation on practice problems on the normal distribution and finding the probability. I wish to thank Mrs. Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoint to make this set of videos. No time to waste, so we'll begin with our example. Mount Wellington is a resort town. The cost of a week vacation for one tourist at Mount Wellington has a mean of $3,670 and a standard deviation of $213. Assume the cost is normally distributed. Jason has budgeted $3,800 for the week vacation at Mount Wellington. He has addition money in his checking account that can be used if he goes over budget. What is the probability that a randomly selected tourist who goes on a week vacation at Mount Wellington will go over $3,800? And we'll save part B and C for when we get there. <clears throat> so starting Excuse me. So starting with part A, we want to find what? The probability, so we're looking for probability that a randomly selected tourist who goes on vacation will go over $3,800. Notice the key word normally distributed, which tells us that we need to draw our normal curve with the mean, and yes, I know that's an ugly looking mu, but uh, a mean of 3,670 and a standard deviation of 213. Our x's are the cost of the vacation. We are now ready to look at the next part, which would be to mark the 3,800. That's the number we're interested in finding the probability for. And the 3,800, then over 3,800, would mean we would shade above or to the right of the 3,800. And that will be our answer. So we need a Z value for that 3,800. Our formula for z is z equals x minus mu over the standard deviation, x minus the mean divided by sigma, x minus mu divided by sigma. That gives us 3,800 for x minus 3,670 for the mean or mu divided by 213, the standard deviation or sigma. When we calculate that, we get 0 0.61. That is our z-score, and we'll place it here on our number line. We'll look that 0 0.61 up in the table, and that gives us the area to the left of 0 0.61 as 0 0.7291. So that is the area to the left. Remember that we're using a table that always gives us the area to the left. Since we're looking for the area to the right, our answer will be 1 minus 0 0.7291, which gives us 0 0.2709. Now we're ready to do part B. What percent of people who go on a week vacation at Mount Wellington will go over a cost of $3,800? Well, remember that the probability that a randomly selected tourist who goes on a week vacation at Mount Wellington will go over $3,800 is 0 0.2709. 
So the answer to this question is 27.09% of the people who go on a week vacation at Mount Wellington will go over a cost of $3,800. And Part C asks us if 600 randomly selected people who go on a week vacation at Mount Wellington are randomly selected, how many would you expect to go over the cost of 3800 Remember that 27.09% of the people will go over a cost of $3,800. So we can take 27.09% of 600, which just means we'll multiply 0 0.2709 times 600, which gives us 162.54. So our answer will be, if 600 people who go on a week vacation at Mount Wellington are randomly selected, I would expect approximately 163 of those people to go over a cost of $3,800. Here are some exercises for you to try. And if you'll go back and pause those to do those, here are the answers that go along with those. The technology answers are the answers that you would get if you used a computer or a calculator to get those answers or use those to check. As always, if you are a Walter State student and need additional help, please stop by and see me in the math lab in MBSS 222. Thank you for watching.